recording. Okay. Hi, my name is Kirk Rivas with Appliance Associates. Today we are, we do have a haul off, haul off washer. It's a haul away washer, which means that we delivered a new washer to a customer, and this was the one that was uh, they were getting rid of. So we brought that in. We're going to check it out, see what's going on. Um, so this is a Kenmore 70 series. Um, and we, you, usually what happens is customers will call me up and say, hey, I need a part for my Kenmore washer. And I said, well, what's your model number? They'll say 70 series. And, and that's really not the model number. That's just a series. And they get frustrated because they should all, all the parts should be the same on everything, which which is not true, right? Um, so let's kind of see what it has. So water level. He's had these really, really, it's terrible the way it feels, but it's uh, a nice little switch. Clicks to where you want it to go. A very mechanical. Um, so you have, if you know, this is a, a little um, knob on the far left of the console. It says it has water level above it. And you, at the nine o'clock position, it says small load. Then you got a click. One more click up to the 12 o'clock position. It says medium load. Turn to one o'clock or two o'clock, and, it, and it's like nothing. It's just a click. You can leave it there if you want. Or all the way to three o'clock position is large load. And so we have a now the next knob to the right of that. It's your wash rinse temperatures. So you basically cold, warm, hot. Uh, which is nice, you know, none of this mixed in stuff like cold, cool, warm, uh, you know, none of that stuff. It's, it's you know, basically cold is going to be the solenoid for the cold water. Warm is probably 50-50 shot, hot and half hot, half cold. And to the far, uh, I guess to the 2 o'clock position, uh, that's going to be hot. All rinses are cold. Let me get, we're not in that little picture frame. There it is right there. All the rinses are cold. So the next knob we have to the right of that is how many rinses do you want? One or second? Okay, so, okay, I'll, I'll explain that here one second. So when I turn to second rinse, the timer's okay. It's saying, okay, we're in the second rinse position. We're gonna start doing the, doing the second rinse. So this is uh, not a digital management system at all. It's all done by like a mechanical clock with contacts. So let's, let's just, I'll explain that here in one second. Okay. So this is the old school mechanical timer. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, you push in like that and then you pull it out to start it. Okay, the reason the reason why this this console's real loose right now is because we had to open it up to bypass the lid switch. So, so this is like a clock. When you pull the knob and start to cycle, uh, the mechanical timer there's a there's a motor that will move the dial, and in the in the timer itself there are some mechanical switches, and when it hits a certain position, it's going to either turn something off or turn something on. It can do a couple of things at one time. It can turn off the water, turn on the water, turn on the hot, turn on the cold, make it spin, rinse, or whatever it wants to do. And just based on uh, the programming, you know. Um, so it, it's it, it's dependable. It's mechanical. No no computerized management system or anything like that. This is you know this is when somebody wants an old school washer. This is it right here. Um, Today, what we're going to do, well, let's look at the, the timer one more time. So, um, permanent press, you know, around, around the one o'clock position. And if you go down to like the four o'clock position, that's going to be your delicates. And then around the five o'clock position, no, I'm sorry, not the five o'clock, but the seven o'clock position, you have hand wash. And around the nine o'clock position, you have your heavy duty. So, the way it works is, let's say we turn it to heavy duty. And you start it, and it's going to run. And when it gets over here, it's going to rinse. When it gets over here, it's going to spin. And if you have your option over here, if it's set to one rinse, it's going to stop right there. Your timer will not advance. 
but if you if you uh, if you select second rinse then your timer will continue to run into the second rinse portion and stop right there at the 12 o'clock so that's what we're going to demonstrate today we're going to do the super heavy duty wash the uh, four pair of jeans and large load temperature setting we're going to leave it to warm uh, we're going to do two rinses so we get full effect so we turn that over to the second rinse right there people are now joining into the uh, chat um, happy new year and this is like a nice little surprise because I didn't expect this at all oh bad news um, we got the the new well the trucking company came and delivered some appliances to us from my distributor and on that truck was supposed to be the LG top loader with the agitator and the guy said well we're short at one piece because it was damaged at the dock and so they did not, they did not bring it and so we're, we're just talking about a big delay uh, so it's hard to get those washers I doubt they're gonna find me one right away I'm sure everything that they have at the warehouse is allocated uh, to somebody else uh, so I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with that I was kind of excited I was it was such a nice surprise to see that truck roll in today and I said oh good we're gonna demonstrate that today uh, but I mean, we're, it could be weeks now before I get it that top load washer so oh well they probably knew I was going to review it and if it didn't do very well they probably wouldn't sell them okay so All right, let's get this loaded. Hopefully Bruce is tuned in today because we are going to find some soap. Those of you joining in again, um, Happy New Year. Our shop is closed down right now. And um, so we're still in the, in the store hours, but we just shut it down a little early to get everybody home because it's nasty outside. It's wet and rainy and cold. And there's not very much business going on right now anyway and uh, another shameless plug so in the description uh, of this video um, my son has a, a, a channel he, my son has a channel and he, he plays a classical guitar and he's gonna be posting videos I'm gonna help him uh, of him basically playing some songs they're not perfect, but to me, it's it's neat to see a kid that likes to play, and he's not perfect, but he's learning, um, and uh, so uh, it's going to help him. Especially positive reinforcement will help him continue in his um, uh, learning to play the classical guitar, and so we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna. Uh, hopefully post another video today but if you can uh, click down there take a look at his channel he only has two videos uh, give him a thumbs up and if you like his music you can subscribe and then whenever a new s and hit the alert button whenever a new song that he, he puts up there you'll be able to hear it and we'll try to get it to where you can listen to it there might be some um, hit and misses on his on, on his uh, performance but at least you'll be able to get you know the song and he has a certain way of playing he kind of doesn't follow the exact way of playing it he kind of throws stuff in because um, he has a weird a weird ear for that type of thing and uh, you know he likes it he's only uh, 11 years old or no he's 12 12 12 years old okay guys uh, let's find some soap I don't, I don't want to put too much soap in it so we can see the action. That might be that might have been too much right there. And of course we got the little crab right here. And this one before we put the crab in, let's find where we're gonna be. Okay, so we're at heavy duty super soil, I guess. And we got the extra rinse, so it's gonna go all the way from the nine o'clock position to about the one o'clock and turn off. I don't know how long it's going to take, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Alright, so we're good there. Oops, get some more light. I 
Okay, and let me check the hot and cold. Let's go to cold. Water pressure feels about the same. That's warm. There's hot. Okay, so maybe we got... It looks like the hot water is regulated, so it, it uh, it's, it's probably not a 50-50 split, because if you go to cold, right there, it's more pressure. I don't know if you can see, I'm not blocking that. Go all the way to hot, less pressure. So this is, they're already kind of thinking about energy savings with this washer, like maybe um, uh, not a 50-50 split, but like making it warm. All right. We're ready. I bet you GG's already here. I, I, I don't have a way of looking at my phone. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't have a way to looking at the chat right now, but if, if GG's there, say, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, thanks for helping out. Preston's probably there. Or I could have no viewers right now. I don't know. Let me see if I can, walk, see if I can get in from my phone right now. Let me go, uh, turn off my Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm filling up slow. Oh, it's got this on hot. There we go. Yeah. yeah for some reason. Yeah, for some reason when I turn my phone on, I don't get the uh, the stream. I don't know why, but after like a few minutes, it'll come in.
Oh, guys, we got some bad news. Um, one of the problems with this washer is that it's fine. <laughs> Look, you know, we uh, we turned the washer on and it's still sitting right there, which is fine. I mean, we've been having a good chat, so this little t the timer hasn't moved one bit. So it sounds like the uh, the motor and the timer is bad. So let's go ahead and, and advance this thing real quick here. So we need to push it in. Let's see what happens. Okay, we pull it here. Okay, give me a second. And we're not crazy. Guys, we could have been here for hours watching this. What's it doing there? Still agitating, but it looks like it's agitating a little bit slower. Let's make one more click here. Okay, well now we're going into a drain. So the timer wasn't moving at all, so that sucks. Oh well. Just wasted a set of agitator dogs on this washer. Okay guys, while well, this does that, quick shout out to uh, Kutin Damrug. How are you? PC Doctor 2, what's going on? Kevin Cook, what's up? Andrew G, Video Game O'Clock. I, I guess you like to play video games, which is cool. Everybody does, who doesn't? Thomas Mindy, what's going on? Eris. A lot to do, or some, I'm sorry for butchering that name. Sorry, Thomas Mindy. Haley, what's going on? You just sneeze. Uh oh, Nathan Fernandez, uh, Drummer's Boys Random, what's going on? Pat Cola, always appreciate your comments, Pat. Uh, yeah, you're you do really well on this channel. Thank you for all your input and stuff like that. GG, of course, are always helping out. So Trenton uh, Tong asked, hey, what's the best LG washer and dryer to buy right now? You know, right now the best one to buy is the one I have in stock. You know, to me they're either all good or all bad. I, I don't think there's I mean, it depends. So, if you want a front loader or a top loader, I think you can decide which one, which way you want to go there. But um, I don't know. So, I mean, if somebody will say, "I want the biggest one." Well, the biggest one won't fit in some houses, and I, I don't know. I think LG, they, they're, all their stuff is pretty decent. PC Doctor asked if the shop closed early today. It did. There, you know, we uh, we only had a, a couple of deliveries, a couple of service calls. I just wanted to get everybody home safe and sound. Uh, they, you know, they usually paydays are Friday, so I paid them early um, so they can go home with their families on New Year's Eve. Haley asked me if I like Metallica. You know, Metallica's, they're, they're an awesome band. I remember listening to Metallica when I was in high school. This is back in the late 80s. So I guess if they're still reaching out to the younger crowd, that's kind of crazy. So Video Game O'Clock asked me if we can do some shop rags and some other stuff with this washer. This might be the last video of this washer unless I replace the timer, but I don't want to spend 80 bucks on a timer. So Pat Cola mentioned that uh, it looked like uh, Sears had a patent 
on that uh, dual action agitator. Um, I know once a patent runs out, which is seven, I think it's 17 years, I'm not sure what the years are, then other companies can pick it up. Because I remember, like, I remember Maytag and GE doing the dual action agitator, like, at the same time because the patent ran out, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to the bottom. Yeah, the phone book, uh, Reese, good idea. Might as well, right? Oh, 76, that's crazy. Timer moving now. The timer, might, the timer might be moving now, so uh, we'll see what it does right here. Kevin Cook asked if we can do a, a phone book test on Speed Queen. I think I already did one. I don't remember. Well, I, I either did it on the TR3, TR5, or TR7. Uh, you can probably look it up. I'll, I'll see if I can find the link. I think I'm with you on that one, Pat. You know, the dual action agitator is pretty cool, but you know, that, that the Whirlpool that we filmed the other day with the black agitator, I think that did fine. The phone book test in this machine, we, if we, you know, I might do it. Try to make the crab jump in. Because uh, I'm gonna move the, uh, the tripod away from the washer. Because if it starts to tumble or move around it, I don't want my camera to fall. What other washers do I have? Right now I don't have many, man. I have the uh, the Amana in stock, and I have some Amana top loaders in stock right now, and um, for sale, and Electrolux front loaders for sale, and that's about it, you know? The LG the LG top loader came in today, one, the one with the agitator in it. Well, it was supposed to come in, the delivery guy brought everything but that washer because the freight company said it was damaged. So I was very disappointed. Kevin, so I just kind of said about that washer, it was supposed to come in today, but the freight company shorted that, that one piece because it was damaged. So I don't know, they're probably going to ship me another one, but I may have to wait another month. Legendary Gamer 9953, what's going on? So Thomas wants to do like a phone book test or a mop head. I think the phone book would be better. Uh, Kevin, I put a lot of soap in there. See, the problem is it's not washing uh, detergent, clothes detergent soap. It's hand soap. So it, it's just way, it's the wrong kind of soap. And uh, I regret putting it in because we couldn't see how the jeans were floating around in there. <laughs> uh oh, grandma. 
suds locking, huh? So I don't know what to do. I think if you um, maybe mix in a little bit of um, what do you call it softener, it will it will break down the suds. So maybe you might want to add a little bit of softener to that load, and it will help with the suds locking. GG. Hey Preston, what's going on? Kevin, you're crazy, man. Thank you, Kevin. You know, guys, I need to get home and um, so I was talking to Legendary Gamer 9953. I may have time, like after this thing's finished, to do the phone book. If I can find, yeah. Hopefully, there's a phone book around here that I can test it with. I may have time to do that, but not much more than that. I need to get, it's cold and I want to get home. Legendary Gaming 9953, is it Preston, right? Kevin, you're talking about that Whirlpool, that commercial one? Two of those uh, Whirlpool commercial washers, and they're both they're sold, and um, so I don't have one. I, I, it's still on a sales floor, but it's going to be delivered out soon, so I'm probably not going to bring it back to the shop until I get a brand new one. I, I don't have any Bravos in the shop. I do have one, but it's going to be sent back to the manufacturer because it's damaged. Yeah, hey, uh, so Flats Regerson, he said old machines like this use a lot of water. Well, I mean, the Speed Queen top loaders, they use probably more water than this because it does a full tank wash and a full tank rinse, and if you want to rinse it twice, it'll, it'll do two full rinses, and the tub's a little bit bigger than this one. Well, actually, it's about the same size. Probably uses just as much or more.
Oh, Charles, that's cool, man. That's good, the 4955. I think I remember that wash. I'll look it up. They're not bad. I think uh, Jerry... I don't know, in the, uh, in the description in this uh, video here, I think Jerry has a link, which his name is, uh, his username is Smirtle450, but he has a link, I think it's to a 4950 washer, I don't know, or the 4955, I can't remember, I think the 4955 has an agitator in it. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a 4955. Okay, so let's see what this machine's doing. I think the timer's moving. It has to be if it's doing all this. So what did Jerry have? What kind of washer does Jerry have in that link? Does anybody remember? Kevin, I'm probably not going to mess with this washer as far as replacing the timer. Well, I'll donate it before I do that. So is a new Speed Queen DR7 dryer any good? Okay, I did some. Uh, I did a lot of testing on the DR7, um, and my son had a school project. And let me go back. Let me see if I can speak into the microphone. I'll tell you about the DR7 in just one second. Okay, so my son did a. Uh, a uh, science project on a DR7 and we were trying to, to determine if using uh, low temperature would use less energy than using high temperature right and what was the trade-off and how much actually we calculated how much money it would cost to use the low heat versus high heat on a DR7 and what we found out was on the, on the low heat on the DR7 it, it used uh, it, you, you could save money by using that instead of the high heat. And uh, one of the observations that was unusual was that on the low heat, using the DR7, it dried faster than using the high heat. Because um, I, I, what, I, what we did is we timed it um, from start to finish, and we, and we uh, measured kilowatts that the machine was using while the machine was on. So to answer your question, is it a good dryer? I don't know. I mean, it's durable for sure, but it's, uh, uh, but you, you know, it has a lot of features on it. But that was one of the things we tested, is how much energy it used, high heat versus low heat, and we made some observations.
Okay, okay, don't talk again, but I don't want to disrupt the video. Um, so if we look at the timer, so the timer is moving. So it's right there at the, now it's a little dot on the timer has moved to uh, a little bit past the spin. And then it's going to, usually it would stop right there. But since we have the second rinse turned on, it's going to go one more rinse there. One more rinse right here. So Mark Williams um, had a con has a concern. Uh, Mark Williams has a concern about his, uh, the front loaders. His mom is afraid of them because she's afraid that they will leak all over the place. Uh, that, yeah, that's that's a, that's justified. Um, but it doesn't hold a lot of water. So if it dumped out the water. It, probably would be a lot less water than this washer that would dump out. Um, that that design is pretty much bulletproof. It, it hardly ever it will... I don't think anybody has really done that. It won't... I mean, it doesn't happen. I mean, otherwise, insurance companies would not allow that washer to be sold if they were, you know, selling front loaders that would just dump water onto the floor and causing massive damage, you know. Especially if you're in a high rise or something like that. Um, usually, if there's a if there's a leak, it's it, you usually catch it because it's a small leak. It drips. There might be a puddle of water, and uh, you can you know it can be repaired. You can turn off the machine, turn off the, the, the hoses, turn off the water to the machine, and it's, you'll be fine. Um, it, it, it has happened to me. Uh, you know, it was early in the morning. My wife said she, the door would not open up on the washer, and it was my Electrolux washer. And uh, what I did is I got a crowbar and I popped the door open because I already knew I was going to replace that washer anyway. I didn't really care anymore because it was giving me problems. And, and that dumped a bunch of water on the floor. I didn't see that the, the tub was full. And when I opened up the door, it just went everywhere. So that, that did cause a problem, but... Um, if I would have, if I would have been so sleepy, it was early in the morning, I would have seen that, you know, I would have, I would have fixed that problem before I opened up the door, but it can't happen, I guess. Yeah, you're right. So G money wants to see it agitate. I kind of want to see it too, because we had so much soap in there. We couldn't watch it agitate and hopefully there, there won't be any soap. I'm trying to find some, um, something to break up the suds. Fabric softener would be great. I don't have any fabric softening, guys. Put this crab a little bit further to the edge. Well, uh, hopefully the, the crab will decide to jump in. That's because I moved him a little. Oh, he's about to fall right there. So yeah, he'll fall right there. We'll see what he does.
Okay, guys, we're going to go back to the front and uh, work on something real quick. I'll be right back.
So it was hailing over here uh, a second ago, guys. So it's getting nasty out there. So it looks like we're almost done. Yeah, we're done. Let me pull these out. And spin is not. Uh, I could have spun faster. It's not as good as the uh, like the the TR5. The, the TR5 spun faster than this. These jeans still feel pretty wet.